All right, gonna do a very quick video on a um, Palomar 300A. Um, this one's a black face, but really doesn't matter. Black face, white face. Just a few things I wanted to show today that um, if it has to relay like this, there are two types of, uh, well, let's start with this amp uses an external transformer. And this is just an RF deck um, here. And they made two types of external transformer. One of them used a voltage doubler. And since it had a doubler, it put out 300 volts. And then it had a, uh, another transformer that went through a regular bridge. So it didn't use the doubler. And uh, it, that transformer put out 600 volts. So the ones that had the doubler had a relay like that one or similar to this um, here and uh, all the ones that used the doubler had to relay so that would uh, indicate that it's a it needs the 300 volt transformer if it doesn't have the relay it would be the 600 volt sometimes that relay they had different versions of these but sometimes it would be on the board here and this board would be um, upside down on some different versions but either way whether that relay is over here or on the board here it's a 300 volt uh, or it needs a 300 volt external transformer um, and somebody was asking where's the input tuner for this um, amplifier well that's the input SWR or the input tuner cap when it's on the high side when this amp is on the high side this is the board with the two driver tubes so the input goes through this little coil here and that's a, a input tuner for the um, two driver tubes so when you're on height side it's using the driver tubes and the input goes through that cap and that would adjust your SWR only when you're on the high side this variable resistor here adjusts the meter um, so you calibrate your uh, watt meter on the amp to read what your um, external watt meter reads that's just a meter calibration pot input tuner both on the driver board but then over here on the high low switch you can see it there low power high power there's another um, input tuner cap and what this one does on the high on the low side you're driving the four final tubes directly you're not using these driver tubes over here the input you see all these coax cables here you know one goes to here with on the high and on the low one goes directly over here to the um, final tube board so um, on the low side this would be the input tuner on the low side since you're driving directly into the four tubes so on low tune that one for the lowest SWR and on high tune that one for the lowest SWR some people tune it for the most watts and then some I think the best way is to try to find a happy medium like a low SWR with high watts you know if you can find a happy medium with that I think that's the best way to tune um, um, input SWRs and uh, I like tuning them with um, auto calibrating watt meters or SWR meters um, I got this little uh, workman here that way I can look at the SWR as I'm tuning and the watts on this one and I don't have to calibrate as I'm going along so I really like those um, auto SWR meters so anyway that's it on this one oh and while I got it that one on the back there says tune for maximum that's off that's the uh, driver tune that's the tune for in between the output of the uh, the uh, driver tubes going to the input of the um, the um, output tubes so you put it on high again and then um, tune that for maximum only on high so that's it of this um, Palomar 300A quick demo of uh, what does what hopefully it helps some people bye